righty, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little bit of wrestling chatter here. A little bit of wrestling talk about Hangman Adam Page, folks. AEW World Champion. Now, we all know the triumphant story of Hangman Adam Page. He did stuff in Ring of Honor that none of us have seen or whatever there. And he was placed in the tournament finals for the Wilds Championship against Chris Jericho. Who is this guy? He's friends with Kenny or whatever. Jericho beat him, obviously, there. And then Hangman stopped hanging out with his friends for whatever reason. It was never really explained there. And he was like a weirdo, lonely alcoholic or something. Even though he didn't want to be friends with Kenny, he became his tag team partner. Doesn't really explain why. I don't want to be your friend. Let's be partners. Yeehaw! Didn't really make sense or whatever. They were tag team champs. He lost the titles. Then he got beat by Kenny. Then he did nothing for a year. He hung out with the Dark Order. Did nothing impressive or whatever. Took a lot of time off. Was never properly pushed as a champ of any kind or anything like this. He comes back two weeks before a pay-per-view. Cuts a goofy promo about cowboy shit that wasn't really that great there. He's made to look like a goof by Omega and Callis. Then he wins the championship or whatever, you know what I mean? With no build-up and, uh, you know, the AEW fans were happy, but, you know, they're the ones who pretty much book this. You know, they all apparently decided that Hangman was going to beat Kenny and it was so... And Tony Khan just went with it, so when he did win... They all knew and expected it, so there's no surprise. There's no shock factor, you know. They're happy that it happened, but they all expected it, so. It's not like Eddie Guerrero beating Lesnar for the belt. That was a big buzz moment, you know what I mean? You know, but. Hangman won, there was some buzz or whatever. Dave Meltzer gave it five and a half stars. AEW <laughs> said, you know, AEW fans were happy because of Meltzer's opinion, his, his goofy, exaggerated star rating there. Because of this, it proves that it was a better show than Survivor Series or whatever there, you know. But then Dynamite happened. The first Dynamite when Hangman won the belt. Less than a million, you know, for the pay-per-view fallout, for the new Lion King that won the championship. Less than a million, you know what I mean? So I made a video, folks, and I had questions. I have a question. I asked, is it, you know, possible that Hangman Page might not be ready? You know what I mean? It's possible he'll be a great champ, but he might not be. And here's why, basically. And I explained, you know, no star power, no real charisma. Not really impressive in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody truly cares about this guy. Like, let's be honest. You know what I mean? Doesn't look like a champ. 
looks like a goofball with the cowboy outfits, wasn't booked properly. You know, there's just nothing that says that this guy should be champ. He doesn't look like a champ in any way. Wasn't booked to become some kind of champ, I mean. What the fuck, you know what I mean? So since then, we had another episode of Dynamite. The ratings haven't come out or something there. It's Thanksgiving, so not a lot of views or whatever. I did not watch the show. But I heard I done fucking hoid about the promo of Punk and MJF. You know what I mean? Didn't watch the show, but all over YouTube, Facebook, Punk and MJF. Some people were going overboard, the AEW fans, their greatest segment of all time. Off, off the fucking wall, goofy statements were fucking aplenty there. But a lot of talk about this promo. I did not hear one single thing about what Hangman Adam Page did on Dynamite. Haven't seen one post talking about it anywhere. About what Hangman did on the last episode of Impact. Everywhere, Punk, MJF. Hangman, I hear fuck all. Nothing. So I must ask the question, is it possible, folks, that Hangman not only was not ready to be the champ or whatever, but is it possible that he's now already an afterthought? Like, you know what I mean? Punk, MJF, everywhere, Hangman Page, I hear zilch about what he did, and he just won the world title less than two weeks ago. Where's the excitement? Where's the hype? Where's all the posts about the Hangman Page dream matches that you want to see from him as champ? You see, folks, it's a case of indie fans, smarks, wanting to push the next jobber to the title. And now that he has the belt, they're already looking forward to the next guy. And they've decided already that it's MJF or whatever. You know what I mean? This channel, I opened it. I've been subscribing to channels or whatever. I'm going through. About 30 minutes ago, I scrolled down a couple of days worth of vids in my subscriptions. Not one video about Hangman Page. Right? I'm not seeing a picture of Hangman and any thumbnail. Not one fucking word anywhere about Hangman Page, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, is it possible that he might be a good champ? It's possible or whatever. Is it possible that this is a big fail and you shouldn't have put the belt on the guy that obviously isn't ready there? Is that a possibility? Yes! Yes! It is a real possibility, ladies and gentlemen. Straight up, where's the buzz? For Hangman Page, he had a bit of buzz on night one, and now what? There's nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely nothing. No talk, no excitement. Nobody gives a fuck about Hangman Adam Page. It is what it is. Until next time, peace!